Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Greg Fenton from Zentech. How are you today, Greg? Fantastic, Tracy. How are you? Greg, you've had so much news, an amazing news flow. So let's start with your NASDAQ listing. Can you give us an update? Sure. Yeah, we went uh, live on NASDAQ uh, on the third week of March. Uh, the reception was initially very positive. We saw uh, decent um, interest from new investors coming into the stock. Unfortunately, the timing in the market was uh, probably the, the, the overall tech market started to have a downturn early this year, as you know. So uh, uh, investors, particularly for growth names and tech names, started to back away from the market. So we saw the volume back off in the, in the past few weeks here, but we're delighted to be there. There's a lot of interest in our name in the U.S. in particular, and we continue to get out there and tell our story and expect that uh, we'll see that volume ramp up in, in the coming months um, as we move forward here and market stabilize a little bit. Well, I'm certain there are a lot of people following you because you're constantly in our top 10 trending for most read, most reviewed. Everyone's following Zentech, or at least we're seeing an increasing audience of interest on investor intel. Also, I thought the news about your deal with your Zengard mask with Mark's warehouse was exciting. Thanks, Tracy. Yeah, that's a big milestone for our company. Uh, being able to partner with an iconic brand like Mark's was, uh, it's a real honor for us. Uh, we started talking to them a number of months ago. Um, Mark's is, is, is a leader in Canada. They're part of the Canadian tire group of companies. Uh, they're real innovators in the clothing and footwear space, and they're always looking to improve their offering for Canadians. Uh, so when they, uh, when they saw our offering, they thought it would be a great addition to their lineup. And we're really, really excited about partnering with them, not only on Zengard, but other potential technologies as well. So um, we're really, really excited about it. And I just got to give a big shout out to our team that pulled this together. Again, uh, it's no small feat. There was a lot of work that happened in the background. And I want to give a big shout out to uh, Ryan Shacklock and his team on the business development front, and as well as Vivian Martin in our uh, uh, QA, QC, quality control. And, and uh, uh, it's just, they, they just did a fabulous job to, to pull this all together. So it was a real team effort that I'm really, really proud of everybody's contribution. Well, I can certainly attest to the fact that you have some amazing team members just from their, you know, if you look, we have what, 10 news releases in the last 45 business days, and they are very well written and are, are, are real quality news releases. Uh, I want to ask you about the ISC testing stream contract, because that's an HVAC deal, correct? That is correct, Tracy. That's, uh, that's in this with our Zengard product as well. That's a, a testing stream, a challenge that we won from the government of Canada to basically demonstrate that our Zengard coding would work on HVAC filters. So it was a two part challenge. Uh, phase one was basically testing out the efficacy, the safety, and to, to ensure that we did not impact airflow in HVAC systems. Uh, we announced to the market in late April that we were successful. We've moved to phase two. The exciting thing about this is if we pass phase two and that testing will begin very shortly here. And, and uh, if, if we're successful with that, the government of Canada becomes uh, uh, a client. So they actually will procure the material for us for HVAC filters in the uh, within different government entities. So we're really excited about that. But more importantly, there's a number of other entities involved watching this testing stream. So we have a very, very unique value proposition and we're very excited about it and can't wait to get uh, this testing completed. Well, speaking of testing technology news flows, you know, you got the magic P word here, patent, patent updates, and you've had several in the last couple of months. Do you want to hit on some of the highlights of, uh, for instance, your patent application uh, publishing? You've got a filing a provisional patent for fire retardant uh, additive. Would you like to give us an update on what's happening with your patents? Sure, I can, uh, I can give you an update there. Uh, again, we're, a, we're an intellectual property development company. So we want to make sure that we continue to develop IP. And when we develop something that is unique and innovative, and we put it through our rigorous process and determine there's a market for it, 
then we obviously need to protect it through a patent filing. So we've done that with a number of our products. As you mentioned, ZenGuard is one of them that we're bringing to full patent status now. Uh, we, we announced the fire retardant coating, which is very exciting as well. We filed a patent on that. And we've got a number of other projects in the hopper that we will be announcing uh, provisional patents filed on as well. So we continue to, to move the company in along and develop uh, additional intellectual property. And of course, the value is in protecting that intellectual property through the patent process. Well, Greg, again, congratulations on, on trading on NASDAQ now all your news flow. It's always a pleasure, and I hope you will visit us uh, every couple of weeks. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Tracy.